Resolution 2011-27, the creation of a steering committee. A motion second, please. So moved. Second. Okay. Um, this uh, resolution was placed on the agenda, I guess, by Dr. Kerr? That's correct. Okay. I ask that this resolution be placed uh, on the agenda uh, for those at home and in the audience uh, our form of, gov of government under the Faulkner Act is one of a council and manager. It is sometimes known as a weak council strong manager. This council is a legislative body. Sometimes we act as a quasi-judicial body. But the manager has the full administrative responsibility for the municipality, including appointment of department heads, as well as subordinates, preparation and presentation of the budget, and the negotiation of contracts. One could argue that the city manager is the most important position in our form of government. Eventually, the time will come when Brigantine will find necess it necessary to replace our present city manager. Ultimately, it is City Council that will make the decision as to who will be the next City Manager. As you all know from my votes on some of the professional service contracts, the process by which we choose our professionals is important to me. I feel certain that the process by which we choose our manager is important to all the members of Council and to the entire Brigantine community. This resolution is meant to help Council in that process. This resolution authorizes the establishment of a six-member bipartisan committee to research and report to Council rec recommendations as to the best practices and procedures to follow in our search for the next manager when that time should arise. If Council then chooses to accept the recommendations of the committee, we would have in place an efficient process to follow in our search rather than making decisions under pressure. I hope that Council will see the wisdom of this resolution and will pass it tonight. Mayor? I, yes. I'm not sure about the wisdom of this resolution. I only got this today. I don't know how smart it is, but um, Dr. Kern, with uh, all respect, uh, Article 5, Chapter 3 of our code does set out the way the um, city manager is chosen. It's chosen by the, the members of city council. I, I'm going to be reluctant to uh, relinquish that. And I know you're saying that... We're not uh, talking about... Not, we're not talking about... I understand what you're saying, Doc, but... What I'm, what I'm saying is that I think we were elected to do a job. I think we could research it ourselves. I think that every other municipality in the state of New Jersey does it that way, the way, the way we do it. I don't want to uh, form a, a steering committee, as you call it. I don't want to do that. I want that to be the job of city council. That's what we're elected for. That's my opinion. I respect your opinion. So that's what we're after. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Burns. You're, you're out, Mr. I know. I understand you can't. Thank you, Mr. Burns. I have a comment, Mayor. The um, I'm sorry. I, I have a comment. Yes. Um, just for the record, um, and to quell any fears that our um, third ward council member may have. This bipartisan committee is going to consist of two members of council, one chosen by the Democratic caucus, one by the Republican caucus. We then will advertise for members of the public who will send in a letter based on advertisement that will go in the paper to submit a letter with, with some background so that the two council members or, or council as, as a whole will choose four members from the public. I think it's extremely important um, that we involve our citizens in the process. The steering committee will 
only provide a a road map as to what their opinion is based on the research that they do when that research is given to city council city council can accept it they can reject it they can modify it but i can assure you that there are many members of council that um, aren't quite sure as to how the process works or where we go to choose the most um, professional, qualified uh, city manager. I personally, as a city as a city council member representing you, the public, don't want to be put under pressure and make a decision that may be hasty. This does nothing more than give us a roadmap. It's something that involves the public. Uh, council can reject it. Council can modify it. So I see absolutely no harm in this. This is open and transparent government at its best. And so I would hope that uh, at least a colleague on the opposite side of the aisle will vote for this resolution because I think it is in the best interest of the taxpayers of Brigantine. Thank you.